Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use the Twin Flame Karmic Ties. And we're going to use Deadly Awaiting Love Triangle Oracle Deck as well. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get this energy. everybody top of the morning to each and every one of you guys let me put this deck down let me move this phone as well make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe would be greatly 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 appreciated okay i hope everybody is feeling wonderful feeling vibrant feeling amazing and very grateful for another day that god has given you okay let me do something Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I came to give you the 411 just to let you know what's going on. Okay, behind the scenes, this what's going on, period, in this twin flame journey, okay, giving you an update about what's going on. All I ask you to do is sit up here and push that like button and subscribe. It don't take nothing but a minute to boop, and there you go, okay? But, yeah, we about to jump straight into it. 
Okay, so it looked like your masculine, okay? He up in his feelings, okay? Because time has ran out. Your masculine been sitting up here holding the way that he feels about you. Sitting up here trying to be a people pleaser. Trying to be able to keep the next person, okay? Which is the karmic, his friends, his family, okay? Not doing what he really want to do. But just doing what everybody else wants him to do. And he been bottling up his emotions and everything to the point that it then came to a head okay he's upset he's mad that he didn't move faster sooner okay on making things right with you okay and time has ran out he knows that time has ran out he can feel your energy pulling away okay this masculine regret he regret lying he regret backstabbing you he regret showing his ass and doing the fucking most to you concerning what everybody else wanted him to do concerning you okay this masculine said that he know that he told you a lot of uh, promises and you know promised you a lot of different things within you guys relationship okay at the time and he lied. Everything that he said that he wasn't going to do, everything that he said he was going to do, he just bold-facedly fucking lied, okay? And stabbed you in the back with the lies that he told, okay? When the truth would have would do, okay? He could have just told you the truth, okay? But the reason that he didn't tell you the truth, because he was sitting up here, okay, dealing with his baby mother, it looked like. It looked like he made a U-turn and went back to dealing with his baby mother, being in a toxic connection, somewhere where he was comfortable in. He fell for the hype. She threw some punani at his ass, okay? And his ass went right back to dealing with that toxic ass shit that he was involved in for so long, okay? Even though he wanted to sit up here and keep a promise to you okay it looked like he was sitting up here living a double life in some type of way okay and um he he was in love with you and he loved his baby mother as well and he was comfortable with the living arrangements the commitment or whatever um is the reason why he continued to entertain this baby mother okay he knew that he wanted to make things right with you but um, he was living a double life, okay? And this is why your masculine was lying to you, okay? He lied to you and went back to an ex, okay? Whoever your masculine is, he deal with a lot of multiple partners, okay? It wasn't just you. It wasn't just his baby mother. It was a lot of different other fucking street cat ass fucking possum bitches that his ass was sitting up here dealing with, okay? And, um... He regrets sitting up here lying to you about everything, okay? This masculine said that he was living a double life and he was just used to sitting up here dealing with street cat. He just was used to it, okay? This masculine said he fell in love with you unexpectedly, okay? He was used to being a player. He was used to being a hoe. He was used to showing up to bitches' houses with dick and bubble gum, okay? He was used to that type of lifestyle. And he didn't mean to fall in love with you, but he did, okay? The love bug beat him in the ass, okay? And and um, he ended up falling in love with you and didn't realize how much he was in love with you until everything was over and done with, okay? Yeah, this masculine said that he didn't know how in love he was with you until everything was over and done with, okay? After he backstabbed you, shitted on you, did you dirty, that's when he realized how much he really loved you, cared for you. That's when his emotions start taking a toll on him and his heart. Okay, that's what he realized, okay? And this masculine been sitting up here holding these emotions inside for the longest, okay? W lied, okay? To go back to this ex, this baby mother, okay? That he really don't get along with, that he really don't like, okay? But he was just used to living a lie, okay? And used to sitting up here living these multiple, per you know, multiple, um, what say? Multiple sexual partners, yeah, okay? It wasn't just you, her, 
It was a lot of other people, okay? And this masculine said that he was too in his fucking ego, okay? And his multiple personalities that he had, being bipolar in his ego and shit, okay? Thinking that somebody was going to chase him, kiss his ass, okay? He ended up letting time run out, okay? On making things right with you sooner, okay? Because he was caught up dealing with all these other sexual partners that he had. Instead of sitting up here keeping his promise. When he was sitting up here um, trying to please whoever this baby mother is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, even though he had multiple multiple um, sexual partners, it looked like he had some type of living situation with his baby mother. It looked like he went back to a baby mother, could have had a baby. Okay, went back for some type of reason. But see, you didn't know that you was caught up in no um, double life bullshit, okay? You thought that your masculine was going to keep the fucking promise that he promised you, but couldn't because he had all these other fucking multiple sexual partners, okay, on his bumper. And that's why he let time run out, okay? Dealing with all them bitches, okay? And all the multiple personalities that his ass got. And he let time fucking run out. And then he was up in his fucking ego as well, okay? It looked like your masculine is also angry, okay? Because he listened to the bullshit that people were sitting up here speaking on you, talking about you. He regret listening to people being in his ear that told him to cut you off, okay? People was hating on you guys' relationship, okay? They seen that this masculine was happy. He was on the right track. He finally had somebody that loved him, cared for him. You know, the real deal, holy feel love, okay? And um, this masculine, he let other people manipulate him, talk shit about you, get in his fucking ear, and they hated on you, Divine Feminine, and they told this masculine to cut you the fuck off, okay? Now that your masculine's sitting up here thinking back after everything is over and done with, he regret listening to those people. He regret cutting you off. He regret just being impulsive, listen to other motherfuckers lead his fucking life, Okay? This masculine said that he's sitting up here feeling the consequences, feeling the consequences and trapped and stuck, okay, in a toxic ass relationship that his ass don't want to sit up here and be in, okay? This masculine stuck like Chuck, okay, in the fucking relationship and don't know how to sit up here and get out the relationship, okay? He don't, okay? He don't, he don't know what necessary steps to sit up here and take to make things right. But this masculine said that he want to ask you for your forgiveness. He want to ask you for your forgiveness for hurting you, breaking your heart, and just doing your ass dirty when you didn't do shit. But he don't know the necessary steps to take, okay? Due to his actions, due to his behavior that his ass has done up until, up until now, Okay? All that he did in the past up until now, he don't know the necessary steps to take to make things right, okay? And it looked like he don't know how to sit up here and tell you some other shit, Divine Feminine. But what I can tell you, Divine Feminine, is that relationship that he walked away from you and got to dealing with, okay, is already on the rocks. It looked like the masculine could have sat up here and married somebody that was lighter than him, a high yellow female, Caucasian, Hispanic, it was a different race, or she's high yellow, okay, but whatever relationship that he, um, you know, decided to stay with, and or to, you know, go back to connect with, okay, whatever one of these options, okay, because it said that he was dealing with multiple options, okay, but whatever options that he was sitting up here dealing with and who he committed to, who he was married to, the relationship is already on the fucking rocks, okay, a lot of shit is going on in that relationship. 
this masculine. The other woman that this masculine was sitting up here dealing with is a baby mother. This is somebody that the masculine was tricking off of. This is somebody that was trying to have a baby on purpose because of this masculine status and what he brought to the table, okay? This is who the other woman, okay, that he left you for, that he had to walk away from you for, okay? And it looked like this masculine, okay, had to walk away from you because he wasn't sitting up here using no protection. He wasn't sitting up here using no protection and he had somebody pregnant, okay? He had somebody pregnant. He could have had a couple of people pregnant at the same damn time he was sitting up here dealing with you, okay? Or she can currently be pregnant or she just had a baby, okay? This baby ain't even a year old yet, okay? On whoever he got pregnant, okay? Whoever he wasn't using protection with, okay? This karmic got pregnant on purpose, okay? due to this masculine status okay this masculine was tricking on this person okay and it looked like he was committed to whoever this person is yes this is why the masculine feels trapped this is why he feels stuck okay because he's stuck with a brand new baby it looked like look like yeah he's stuck with a brand new baby okay allegedly okay yeah stuck with this baby okay this is why he felt trapped okay because whoever this karmic <clears throat> whoever this karmic is she was sitting up here saying that this masculine is the pappy okay he the pappy okay and he was sitting up here feeling stuck okay stuck okay See, this is why you don't trust the masculine divine feminine because you feel as though the masculine is always going to have you in a third party situation. You see your masculine as a tool, okay? Even though he wants to sit up here and come back together with you, okay? You you got your guard up. You very defensive. You see your masculine as just a tool out here, just some street meat out here, ready to fuck, do this, do that, okay? This is why you don't trust your masculine, okay? Always winking and blinking at somebody and you just don't trust them you ain't got time to be sitting up here dealing with your masculine and he out here sitting up here putting you in no third party situations okay this is not what you signed up for this ain't what you're going for okay you ain't you can't and you won't okay be put in no third party situations and be nobody's other woman or anything else you can't be the woman the first lady in the relationship period point blank you don't want it you don't want it okay and this is why you're very defensive divine feminine okay you're very defensive you do forgive your masculine but you're very defensive okay especially divine feminine you know how good and sweet okay your coochie is okay you got a nice good juicy coochie that's real good and sweet okay that's what the beads come to that honey, okay? You ain't got the move, okay? And plus, you already know who you are, even though you're not having no sex, but you know how good it, you, you know. You know how good it is, Divine Feminine, okay? Your masculine now realizing after everything is over and done with, now that he's dealing with his feelings and everything, he realizing that it was meant to be between you and him. Realizing that you is that diamond that shines so bright. And out of all these different options that he continues to deal with, ain't nobody make him feel the way that you make him feel, okay? Nobody, okay? This masculine regrets sitting up here not making the effort to make things right. But he didn't know what to sit up here and do at the time because um, he felt trapped in the relationship due to this baby, okay? He didn't know what to do and he felt trapped within his situation, okay? And then the masculine, he sat up here, was listening to other fucking people tell him to cut you off, okay, due to whoever this karmic is that he decided to lie to you about and to go back to, okay? Yeah, this is why the masculine sat up here and stayed within that toxic-ass connection, okay, because his baby mother already had a baby and just had a baby, or these is two different females, okay? Okay, 
just love being involved in toxic situations. Love, we got babies all around the world, and I, yeah, yeah. Your masculine might have babies in every city, every state, okay? Who knows? But what I do know is that he was just used to sitting up here being in toxic ass shit, and he felt obligated to be in whatever connection with whoever this other karmic is or it could be the same karmic okay because her ass was pregnant okay a lot of females is used to getting with your masculine due to his status okay and he let people sit up here and get in his ear and they told this masculine that he needed to sit up here and make things right with whatever baby mother since he was having a baby it looked like and now this masculine is angry, angry, pissed off that he was up in his ego, listening to everybody else, stayed in the toxic ass connection, and now sitting up here feeling the consequences to all of it, okay? This masculine, know that you feel defensive about the whole situation, okay? When it came time for your masculine to sit up here and show his loyalty, he didn't. And he never, ever made things right, which made you have to sit up here and move forward in your life, okay? You got tunnel vision, okay? You moving forward. You feel as though maybe next lifetime, maybe it'll be a better time in next lifetime. But this lifetime, you just don't trust it. You don't believe in it. And you just ain't got time for your masculine to be sitting up here breaking your heart hurting you making you cry being on the dumb shit no more you just moving forward okay because you know that there's a love out there for you you trust god that's why you letting god lead your steps okay thank god for god that god gave you the strength to carry on thank god that god gave you the strength to keep on pushing divine family you no longer in la la land you no longer in la la land you no longer see it fucking you know purple fucking unicorns and and just you know having your heart just open and trusting one thing your masculine taught you he taught you that you he taught you you couldn't trust everybody because you trusted your masculine you let your guard down you trusted him you believed in him and he sat up here lied just a lie okay and that's what hurts you the most divine feminine okay yeah Yep, because he, he could have kept his promise. He whatever Whoever this masculine was, he told a lot of lies, okay? And then his ass had the nerve to let time run out because he was out here in other third-party situations and you just don't trust him. You asked for God to sit up here and give you the strength, okay? And God did, okay? And that's why you sitting up here rather deal with that in the next lifetime. You just don't trust it because you don't want to sit up here and go through no more consequences due to any more toxic ass connections no okay that's not what you want in your life you know that you got that good yum yum okay you know what you got okay and you're not tripping about that aspect of it okay but you're not gonna make you're not gonna let this masculine make you feel like he got to be out here having all these different multiple, you know, uh, relationships, okay? And out here sitting up here having you stressed, okay? It was a time when you second-guessed yourself, okay? But you know who you are now. You are the Empress. You know everything in the package that you come in with a pretty red bow, okay? And you just don't want to be stressed wondering why your masculine is going back to exes and other multiple, um female sexual partners that's not where you at with it you divine family you got tired okay of always sitting up here being stressed hurt broken always mad due to what your masculine was out here doing you done with those days okay and you that's a red flag for you okay you don't want to be with nobody that's sitting up here sleeping with nobody else and you don't want to be with nobody that makes you feel as though you're not good enough to commit to to be monogamous to okay that's not what you what you want to sit up here and be in anymore okay no you remember that pain. You remember the pain that he took you through. And you remember the stress, okay? And all the crying and hurt and pain that this masculine put you through. And that's not where you at in your life, okay? You have evolved, okay? Didn't we just see that card? Where'd it go? 
Yeah, Divine Family, you went through an ascension, you've been minding your business, you've been celebrating, you've been moving in silence, and you've just been minding your business and healing, Divine Family, getting closer and closer to God, okay? You're not with the bullshit, okay? You're not with the bullshit, and you don't want to be with nobody that be out here sitting up here taking risks, doing what the fuck they want when they want to. That's not where you at with it no more, okay? You rather sit up here and be alone, okay? And to keep your peace than to sit up here and be in any more pain. You're no longer in La La Land, okay? And you not being in La La Land, you being in the Queen of Swords energy, not dealing with the bullshit, you protect yourself from being able to be hurt, be broken anymore, okay? Those days are just... In La La Land, believing the hype is over and done with, okay? Thank God for God that God sat up here and took the necessary states to awaken you that you deserve better than that. You have evolved, Divine Feminine, okay? And you know that you're des you are deserving for someone to really keep their promise, okay? You know one day that someone will be able to look you in your eyes and realize that it's meant to be, okay? You wish that it was your masculine, but... You know, sometimes things don't work out that way, okay? But one thing you do know, one thing your masculine did teach you is that it taught you how to love yourself. It taught you how to love yourself, okay? It is, okay? But see, your master know everything that he did, but he said that it's, it's hard to let you go. It's hard to let you go, and he don't understand why he keep doing the same as shit. He even did the same as bullshit in the past life. See, your masculine got to heal. He got to work on himself. He got to change, okay? And he's been guided to sit up here and change. God, his angels, his ancestors is guiding this masculine to change his wicked ass ways, okay? He got to change. He been doing this shit for a long fucking time. He has, okay? To the point that you... Got to go again. You moving forward. God giving you the strength to go on. He did this in the past life. Okay. And hopefully you see him in the next lifetime. Okay. You ain't got time for this bullshit. Okay. And then the bitch that he wanted to sit up here and um deal with. Okay. He going through drama. He going to say. He going through drama. Their relationship is hot and cold, and all this shit is going on at a distance, okay? The bitch that he put on the pedestal, the bitch that he lost you for is the bitch that he ain't even getting along with, okay? You see how karma work, okay? Gotta be careful how you treat people, because the same people that you mistreat might be the same people you need again, okay? So you gotta be, you gotta be careful in how you treat people, Okay? And he did a lot to prove a point to whoever this karmic is, okay, against you, okay? He did. He did a lot, okay? Now, look, they can't even get along. They can't even get along in a relationship over there. It's toxic. Toxic as fuck, okay? For real. Okay, and this masculine, he's always emotionally cheating on whoever this baby mother is because she means. It's like he tries to have connections other places, okay, because she, he, the karmic don't treat him good. He always trying to make a connection with different people due to however this karmic is very defensive, very mean, okay, very much hot and cold, okay, yeah. And this is an ex-lover that he already knew how she was, but she didn't change, okay? This is somebody that's used to being the other woman that he sat up here and wiped, okay? But this masculine, he won't set up here and ask you for your forgiveness for sitting up here hurting you, breaking your heart, divine feminine. That he do want to sit up here and do, okay? What does it say? It says trust issues. Yeah, divine feminine... You got trust issues. You don't trust no fucking body, okay? Especially with your body, okay? That's why you're keeping your legs closed like a presser. You don't trust nobody, and you're not going to be giving your body to nobody all willy-nilly. No, okay? Uh-uh. No, you waiting for the right person to come into your life that God's going to send in due time, okay? Yeah. 
but it looked like you're working on yourself, Divine Feminine, currently. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you're not staying tied and combined to somebody that don't see your worth, okay? This masculine ended up making a baby. He wasn't sitting up here using protection. He was being risky, it said. Where's that card at? Yeah, it said he was being risky out here. Okay, not using protection. Okay, and, and out over there feeling trapped and stuck. Okay, mm -mm. it's already bad enough that somebody cheat, but you out here being reckless. Okay, not sitting up here putting no packaging on your meat. Okay, and you out here making babies, not using no protection, gonna have God knows what, and impregnating other people. Okay, mm mm. Divine Feminine said, uh uh. She can't sit up here and put herself in harm's way, okay, to be dealing with nobody that got her stressed out or hurt her any longer, okay? No. This masculine like living double life. He like being in the streets. He likes sitting up here having street meat and he like dealing with street cat. And you're not going to let his ass sit up here and stress you out, make you be wondering what the fuck his ass is always up to. That's not what you're going to sit up here and do. No. You done with crying. You done with crying. You just want to be happy. And this is why you moving forward, okay? Because you know, you know it ain't no reason for nobody to be sitting up here wanting to cheat or fuck around on you when you got that good, honey, okay? You got that good, good, that yum, yum, okay? Yes, you do, okay? Hmm. That you do, okay, for real. Now he at a distance, sitting up here arguing with this crazy ass bitch each and every day, okay. She ain't never cool. There's always some unnecessary drama going on, okay. Yeah, and this masculine, he want to sit up here and tell you a secret too, okay. That his ass crossed the line. It looked like his ass ended up fucking one of your friends or somebody close to you. Looked like he traveled to her, was texting her, and they was meeting up having sexual rendezvous, okay. This is somebody that you know, somebody close to you, okay. That this masculine crossed the line, okay? And this is one of the reasons why he didn't make his way back to you as well. Because he don't know if you know, okay, what his ass did, okay? And when you and your masculine parted ways, okay? Why he took his time not giving the fuck is because he had multiple um partners. He had a baby mother that had a baby on the way. And he was sitting up here fucking somebody that you knew, okay? This is why his ass didn't make his ass ass back cross the line okay with somebody that you know okay mm-hmm could have even got her pregnant okay if you got a friend that magically ended up pregnant guess who the baby daddy could be okay mm-hmm and this is what he want to sit up here and tell you about want your forgiveness about it looked like god is guiding him to sit up here and tell the truth on what he did when he traveled okay to whoever this person is that you know somebody that he was sexing texting being nasty inappropriate with somebody that he was taking sex rendezvous could have been fucking in the woods could have been fucking in the car who knows okay but see your masculine he got to do a lot of shadow work if you ever think about taking his ass back okay because he's always putting himself into some kind of sexual toxic ass sexual bullshit divine family this is why you can't be in la la land no more okay you have evolved, okay? You don't have went through an ascension. You have, you just have elevated out the bullshit, divine feminine. And thank God that God is leading your steps, okay? You deserve better than that bullshit. Your master said it's hard to let you go, realizing that he fucked up, that it was really meant to be between you and him, wishing that he would have just kept his promise and did right by you okay but never ever had nothing good to know how to do so divine family you roll so low you a loner you mind your business okay you ain't got time for nobody lies okay that's why you're cutting family friends co-workers anybody off with the bullshit okay you done sitting up here being stressed okay and you're not putting yourself in a situation with somebody sitting up here trying to put you in no toxic ass situations living no double lives uh-uh 
okay? You're not putting your own self in a situation to be backstabbed anymore. No, you are you over that, okay? This masculine setup here is currently sitting up here trapped, okay? Trapped. Hiding his emotions and everything, okay? And stuck with a baby mother currently, okay? This is what's going on. He in a living situation with a baby mother, miserable, feeling trapped and stuck with a brand new baby or with somebody that is about to go into labor, okay? And it's a lot of drama up in that household. And it's your masculine at a distance dealing with somebody that really don't fucking give a fuck, okay? This is the other woman that he wanted to put you in competition with, okay? An ex-lover that he continued to keep running back and forth to that the relationship is toxic the reason that he continues to run back and forth to this karmic is due to stability okay and he continues to be having sex unprotected with whoever this ex is even though he don't trust whoever this ex is this ex has cheated on him multiple times that baby that she's saying that is his ain't his okay and um He's keeping a lot of stuff balled up, okay? This karmic is stressed as well, okay? Because this karmic knows that this masculine wants to leave. And she know if the masculine sit up here and um, want to get a DNA test that that baby ain't going to come back out. So whoever this karmic is, she's not about to push no child support, okay? She's stressed. She up in her feelings as well, okay? Because she know that this masculine is going to want to know if that baby is his, okay? And it ain't too much that her ass can do, okay? She about to sit up here and face the consequences in some type of way. This masculine is going to be angry because there's a lot of people in his ear telling him that he need to get a DNA test. Yeah, there's a lot of people telling him, okay? That he need to see if that baby is really his, okay? On whoever this baby is, okay? People is telling him that he need to make sure that that baby is his, okay? Yes, 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 Divine Feminine. It look like you about to sit up here and meet a king of pentacles, a businessman, somebody that's going to be able to contribute, somebody that's going to be able to meet you in the middle, okay? Look like there's going to be love on the horizons and somebody that's going to be able to meet you in the middle, okay? Relief is coming. Your sadness you ain't going to have to worry about because whoever this person is that God is about to send in your life is going to be a blessing in disguise, okay? I don't know if you've been worried about finances or you want somebody that's going to be equally yoked, somebody that can pour into you, invest into you as well as you into them, okay? But everything is not going to be on your shoulders, okay? No, no. You so used to doing everything yourself and you finally going to have somebody that, you know, helps and invests with you, okay? But God, he going to keep giving you strength and God wants you to keep on moving forward, okay? Whoever he about to send in your life is going to understand the assignment, okay? It's going to pass that loyalty test, okay? Yes, yes, yes. You ain't got to worry about no more third-party situations, okay? That shit is over and done with, okay? Yeah, because opposites attract, okay? Even though you done been through some shit, Divine Feminine, you still a sweetheart. You still a little softy. Yes, you is, baby girl. Mm-hmm. And um, you still a good person, okay? Through it all. Through it all. Through it all, okay? See, your masculine, he's still battling. He's still battling. He love you, but he's still battling if he want to sit up here and change his ways, okay? He got one foot, okay, in the devil's den, and he want to sit up here and, you know, move forward, okay? He study battling good good and evil, okay? And um, all these sexual partners, okay? Mm-hmm. So is Divine Feminine, Okay. And whatever and whoever that he's committed to, whoever that he went back to, that shit is on the rocks, Divine Feminine. Let's use the Karmic Tales 3 and then we're going to sit up here and close this reading, okay, out. What else, Lord, do you want? Okay. 
yeah, hanging on to a dysfunctional situation, okay? Whatever's going on with this masculine and this karmic shit is out of fucking control. Their relationship is on the fucking rocks, okay? It's a lot of stress going on up in that relationship, okay? God wants you to continue divine feminine to trust the universe, trust God. God say you walk by faith, not by sight, okay? God say he got you. Do not trip, okay? Don't trip. Don't trip okay yes you could have a uh karmic contract with a taurus okay you could be you could know a taurus deal with a taurus that wears glasses okay this could be hulu is committed okay to someone else okay you could have just broke up with a taurus okay your masculine could be a taurus or oh, i don't know okay what else yes yeah, yeah, it looks like your divine masculine is a Taurus. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Your divine masculine is a Taurus just trying to break out of karmic contracts with whoever this karmic is. And he wears glasses, okay? Yes. You could be a Pisces that is a sweetheart, okay? That is not sitting up here needing nobody to give you no more validation, okay? It used to be a time when you cared about what motherfucker felt like, but you don't, okay? Or this masculine could have Taurus and Pisces in his chart, okay? Take what resonates, okay? What else is going on? What else is going on? Yeah. Whoever your masculine is, he got childhood trauma that he suffers from, that he needs to heal from, okay? This karmic is always triggering him, makes him feel as though he needs validation, makes him feel as though he needs to sit up here and prove something all the time. This is why the masculine is currently sitting up here always dealing with multiple options and shit, okay? And study sitting up here battling good and evil. Got a bad sexual addiction, even though he sit up here and love you, Divine Feminine, okay? Don't know how to turn off the bullshit, okay? Yes. This is why it's a no for you, Divine Feminine. You ain't got time for no bullshit. Why it's a no for you, Divine Feminine? Because God says that your masculine is still emotionally unavailable. He has to heal. He has to heal. He's not going to be no good to nobody until he heals whatever happened to him as a child. He don't hear whatever happened to him as a child. He ain't going to be no good to nobody. It's always going to be a short-lived situation, okay? It's always going to take off good, but it's always going to end bad, okay? And this is why you can't deal with the bullshit because your masculine got to heal. He has a whole lot of shadow work that he got to do. Yep. He got, a, he got a lot of shadow work. He got a lot of healing that he got to do, okay? And he got to go to God and ask God to help him, heal him, work with him. He got to do that. And, uh, he got to do that for himself. What else? What else? Yes, you can also be dealing with a Libra. You could be a Libra. She could be a Libra, okay? Yes, it could be a karmic that is a Libra that got deep-rooted issues, okay, that she needs to work on, okay? She be showing her ass, okay? And um, this is the reason why your mask could have self-sabotaged, okay, the relationship due to a Libra, Okay. What else? What else? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a cancer. Okay, that your masculine could have been sitting up here having secret rendezvous with. Okay, she could have cancer in her chart. Okay, and she's stressed out if you know about it. Okay. Yes, this is why you loving yourself, Divine Feminine. Whoever this cancer is, she's feeling unbalanced right now. She's feeling very stressed right now due to her having secret rendezvous and doing bullshit, okay? Whoever this cancer is, she crossed the line, okay, and she did some shisty-ass fucking shit, okay? To a Pisces that was nothing but nice to her. She has a whole lot of shadow work that she needs to work on as well. And she also has child um, trauma. Okay. Yes. Whoever this cancer is, she has a lot of um, 
painful memories from the past. This is why she act, acts out in a sexual way. She could be pregnant, okay? Whoever this cancer is, she could have talked shit in this masculine's ear, okay? Yeah. Lack of emotional intelligence. You're not lost. You're here, okay? Yeah, your masculine could have been slow listening to a lot of shit. Okay, that motherfuckers had to say about you instead of going to God with it, instead of him knowing, okay? That's why, okay, you know, it's okay to listen to what somebody has to say about a person. But if a person really fuck with you, it don't matter what somebody can come and say about you. You know that person as an individual, okay? I hear stuff about people all the time. But I know the relationship and what I have with the person. Fuck what anybody else is saying, okay? And your masculine, he just up here just being slow and stupid, okay? Listening to other motherfuckers sit up here and talk about you when you was nothing but a sweetheart, Divine Femme. You a sweetheart, Okay? People lie, okay? People will push a lie in a minute, okay? And men are the most gossiping motherfuckers that you will ever fucking meet. You think women gossip. Men gossip too and they lie on their shit, okay? And whatever was said about you, it looked like your masculine didn't come and tell you about it, okay? It looked like he didn't come and tell you about anything. Okay, yeah. People want to act funny with you, Divine Feminine, because you're different. You a sweetheart. You mind your business. You stay up out the mix, okay? You was the queen of cups. You was a sweetheart. You different. You try to be there for people, and you're very misunderstood, okay? you very misunderstood, and that's why people always got some shit to say about you, because you is that bitch, okay? In a good way, okay? Yes. This is why you're not giving your power away, okay, to anybody, okay, because you already know God done taught you how to sit up here and put you first, okay, yeah, Divine Family, you is guarded from past issues, you don't trust nobody, you don't trust nobody, mm-mm, yep, and your masculine, he could be feeling empty inside the karma could be feeling empty inside due to finding out that they had an std not using protection okay feeling confused on how to tell you about it divine feminine who knows okay but whatever it is somebody feeling hopeless about somebody sitting up here fighting okay going through domestic violence okay and um it's this married man, okay? Whoever this masculine is, he's married, okay? And whoever he's married to is doing fucking magic on him, okay? And your masculine, he got a bad problem on being a people pleaser. Trying to please everybody else and make everybody else happy instead of making himself happy. And the reason that he's like that is due to this karmic on whoever he's married to is doing magic on him. Is doing magic on him, making him sit up here and feel empty inside, making him feel confused about everything, second thinking everything. And this is why the masculine is up in his um, emotions, okay? Broken, hurt, feeling trapped, feeling backed up against the wall. And it's all due to whoever his wife is that is doing magic on him, okay? That's fucked up. Oh, Lord, that's fucked up, okay, when you done sat up here and said, I do, okay, yeah, I say I do, but not to be sitting up here, that motherfucker gonna do magic, okay, and keep you stuck, unhappy, miserable, that's a fucked up situation to be in, okay, you can't buy peace, okay, can't buy peace, can't buy love, okay, that's something that just got to take, take its own toll, okay, in life, okay. And um, this mask over that's stuck, miserable, whip, going through a lot of different, you know, emotional feelings and everything due to the magic that has been done on him, okay? But God wants this masculine to trust the universe, trust God that God is going to get him up out of it, okay? For real. God said that um, time is running out, okay? And God is sitting up here stepping in, okay, with this masculine, okay? All this sexual fucking addiction shit, always trying to pop somebody cherry and shit. Okay, God said no more, okay? Can't be out here acting like no karmic male, okay? But you could have been dealing with a karmic male, that which is a, a, a Capricorn, okay? 
It could be a Capricorn, okay, that did you dirty, okay, that you thought that was your masculine, that really is a fucking karmic that got a bad sexual addiction, okay, that could have sat up here and got in your masculine's ear with lies, okay, for real, uh-huh, that, that is obsessed with you, that couldn't get over you, okay, mm-hmm. Oh, yes, that want a clean slate with you, want to do over, okay? This is somebody that back in the day, you pat, you fell in love with potential, okay? And whoever this person is that you used to deal with, it was one-sided, okay? And this masculine is obsessed with you, okay? You got your masculine obsessed with you, and you got some karmic obsessed with you. Moving on, focusing on me. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you moving on, focusing on you okay because you refuse to put yourself in situations to be dealing with any more narcissists okay no you done with dealing with people that don't know how to love and how to treat you okay you're not doing no more injustices to your own fucking self okay you have learned a big lesson too that you can keep yourself from being hurt if you just stay away from the bullshit once you recognize that a motherfucker's a narcissist you know to get the fuck on okay that that's what you do know, okay? For real. And when God sit up here and show you how a person is, trust God, okay? Trust your intuition. You done being a people pleaser as well too, Divine Feminine, okay? Your man's talking about he don't want to be a player no more, okay? Mm-hmm. And he said that he living in an unhealthy um, environment. And his man said that he regrets sitting up here taking you for granted. He... He regret taking you for granted. This masculine said that um, he had a lot of emotional baggage and he didn't know how to sit up here and treat you. And he took you for granted and he apologized for that, okay? He apologizes for that, okay? Yes, yes, yes. This masculine said that he been sitting up here burning through money. He been sitting up here burning through money. He can have Aries in his tribe. He been being a sugar daddy, tricking off a lot of bitches since he walked away from you okay and he done burnt through a lot of his money out here trying to showboat for these bitches and these street cat assholes okay for real he tell you he don't want to sit up here and be no player no more okay he don't want to be no player no more because he ain't got the money to finance that shit he does sitting up here being a sugar daddy okay this masculine said that he he see his narcissistic ways, okay? This mask can say he pissed at you because you standing in your power, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. This masculine said everything that you said, you've been sitting up here speaking the truth, okay? And you feel as though your masculine and others is heartless. This is why you're standing in your power. This is why you're protecting yourself against anybody that is on any kind of sexual tip or anything. You don't want no parts of it, okay? Because you don't trust people, Divine Feminine, okay? For real. What does it say? Yes, yes, yes. This master said that um he wants to sit up here and walk away, okay, from whoever this karmic is. She could be a Gemini, okay? He said this Gemini that he was dealing with was his worst fucking nightmare. This bitch show her ass, show her true colors. Her horns was always sticking the fuck out, okay? And whoever this Gemini is or what if she happened in her chart, she always made him feel low about himself always attacked his self-esteem okay and he sees that okay the karmic is currently sitting up here feeling worthless right now because the masculine is sick and tired of the bullshit the karmic is sitting up here going to god praying okay asking for forgiveness it's a scorpio okay it's a scorpio that's feeling worthless right now that's praying for better days okay all the magic all the bullshit all the slander all the magic everything that this bitch has did she is feeling the consequences to all her actions and she is praying asking god for mercy okay feeling worthless okay everything that she wanted others to feel she is feeling currently and this is a scorpio okay that's feeling real low angry inside pissed off okay because god is sitting up here closing them karmic cycles okay yes mm-hmm 
She could be a tarot reader, okay? She could be a tarot reader, okay? Or she getting readings and a tarot reader is telling her about her fucking self, okay? That all the bullshit that her ass has been doing, that shit is over and done with. That all that she did is going back to her, okay? And she has got a reading or she is a tarot reader, okay? That is doing this shit, okay? And she is feeling extra depressed right now now okay extra depressed right now and could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo okay or this is two people that's feeling the same exact way taking anxiety pills trying to feel better due to the shit that they have done to old others okay a Sagittarius and a Virgo okay that has been out here being people's worst fucking nightmare okay this is somebody that your masculine got a family with that is passive aggressive never happy always mean angry always in a fucked up ass mood yeah this is who your masculine got kids with that's been tied to okay and your math says it's been his worst fucking nightmare, okay? It's been his worst fucking nightmare on sitting up here dealing with this karmic that think her ass is the shit, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Tried to control this man's mind, okay? But hey, divine feminine, all you can sit up here and do okay is keep on walking by faith keep on trusting god and know that god got you divine feminine you got your hair in the ponytail minding your business okay for real for real put your hair in the ponytail mind your business okay and whoever's gonna love you is gonna love the authentic you you can always go get your hair done this and that but right now continue to heal put your hair in the ponytail and trust god and know that god set up here and got you divine friend continue to heal right now continue to heal right now and it's hot don't worry about none of that shit god wants you to continue to keep building a relationship with him Okay, put your head in the ponytail. Okay, get keep on eating right, drinking water, drinking fruit. I mean, drinking fruit. Well, get a smoothie. Okay, that guy don't make no mistake. I said drinking fruit. Yeah, get you make you some smoothies, order you some smoothies, get you some jumbo juice, and just sit up here, just chill. Keep you know, just keep working on yourself and healing. Okay, and know that God got you. That's what you need to be focused on right now. Okay, for real. For real, Divine Feminine, okay? But yeah, that's the, what the 411, okay? Yes. And it's, it, he going through the motions over there with his baby mama, okay? His baby mama, okay? His baby mama that think that her ass is the shit snits, okay? Is, is doing magic currently on this man and doing magic, sending it to your ass too, okay? This is somebody that you would never ever think to get down with the get down, but the bitch do, okay? Mm-hmm. And it's his baby mama. But God said, don't worry about none of it. God said, that shit's finna be over. Yeah, we seen that game over, okay? Mm-hmm. God said, trust, trust him, divine feminine. Keep on praying. Keep on moving forward. Keep your head in the ponytail, okay? Mm-hmm. Put your hair on back, tie it to the top, and wear it, okay? And sit up here and just shine bright, okay? For real. Don't worry about all that extra shit, makeup and everything. Just be naturally beautiful. Let your love and the, your light and your love for God shine through, okay? Because whoever gonna rock with you don't need to see all that shit. When you get a man, okay? worry about all that you know what i mean but to the meantime what's the purpose for it let somebody fall in love with who you are who you are because you are good enough divine feminine don't ever forget that okay for real but yeah y'all we're gonna sit up here and leave it right there and i'll be back with another reading okay make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe okay it is saturday morning okay nice and refreshed do not forget to go get you a smoothie okay go to jamba juice go get you a surf rider i love the surf rider mango smoothie a strawberry banana smoothie. just go get you a smoothie okay and make sure y'all 
tag me and let me know that y'all went and got a smoothie, okay? I can't wait to to the morning because I'm going to have Jamba Juice sit up here and send me one to a razzle-dazzle. No, I want a surf rider. Mm, that would be so good right now. I wish I didn't get my mama my blender. I would go make me one myself. But anyway, we're going to leave it there, okay? I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Bye.